I'm guessing your documentation project will need to include some code samples, and including these with restructured text is pretty easy. The shorthand for indicating a code sample is a double colon at the end of a line, followed by a code sample that remains indented until the end of the sample. We're looking at the Just Code page of the documentation, and I've got two places in the document that precede some code I want to show. I'll add the double colons to indicate the starting points of the code blocks and put some Python code in the first spot and some C sharp code in the second one. One thing you need to make sure of is that you have the entire code block indented. The code block will continue until the indenting ends. Once I save the file, the preview will show our two code blocks. One thing you might notice in looking at these two blocks is that the C sharp block doesn't have quite the same level of syntax highlighting detail as the Python block does. That's because the lexer used to do the highlighting doesn't know that the second block is C sharp. I can indicate the language for a code block by using a more verbose format, the code block directive on its own line with blank lines above and below it. When I replace the double colon with a normal single colon and then add the code block directive and specify my language, we get better highlighting. Nice! One last thing to note is that if most of the code in your documentation will be a single language, you can add that setting in the conf.py file right under the pigments style setting. There are lots of languages supported, and if you look up the Python pigments library, you'll see the list of options. Once you set that, though, you would have to use a code block directive to indicate sections with other languages. That's about it for including code samples in your documentation. Pretty sweet, right?